Hi, this is Dr. Nagy and um, we'd like to welcome you to our one hour uh, webinar and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, uh, classification of orthodontic male occlusion and we will cover dental male occlusions. Uh, so let's get started. Um, when we talk about uh, um, male occlusion, it's very important to talk about uh, Edward Engel who was uh, really the first one to standardize the teaching and practice of orthodontics. Um, he published um, uh, his work in the late 1800s about uh, systematic classifications of male occlusions, which has really became a cornerstone of orthodontic diagnostic uh, uh, tools and skills and orthodontic treatment. And it's uh, still something that we use today. So um, it's very important to uh, cover what um, what he uh, he put into writings in the 1800s, and um, and um, uh, he was really um, called the father of orthodontics because of the work that he has done. So um, you know, knowing these uh, classifications of how to cover, how to uh, diagnose and and recognize orthodontic male occlusions is uh, essential of really understanding each uh, orthodontic case uh, that we're going to a treatment plan. Um, so first it will be important to cover what is uh, male occlusion? Um, what, do we, what do we call uh, male occlusion? How do we define it? Um, well, really male occlusion is just a misalignment or uh, uh, incorrect uh, relationship of the two arches uh, when they come together. And that's really how <clears throat> Edward uh, defined this. And uh, there is lots of uh, uh, different types of male occlusions, and we will cover that today. Um, here's, for example, uh, one of our flyers that we use for patient education. Um, there, you know, um, these are just some of the um, uh, some of the male occlusions that we often see in our um, in our patients. You know, there's large overjet, there's crowding, um, there's also underbite, unhealthy. Uh, um, Gums are, they are very common with crowded teeth. There's open bite, there's spacing, um, bilateral cross bite, unilateral cross bite, anterior cross bite. These are just uh, some of the very common male occlusions that uh, you can see. And um, to come up with a treatment plan for these patients, it's very important to, uh, to classify these male occlusions because uh, uh, each case is going to require different treatment and different diagnostic tools.